uh, bath can be filled by cold water pipe in 40 minutes and by the hot water pipe in 60 minutes. A person leaves the bathroom after turning on both pipes simultaneously and returns at the moment when the bath should be full. Finding, however, that the waste pipe has been opened, he now closes it. In 12 minutes more, the bath is full. In what time would the waste pipe empty it? In what time would the waste pipe empty it? Right. So if you uh, read and understand the question, important parts of the question, he says there is a bath, bath tub, let's say, which can be filled by the cold water pipe in 40 minutes and by the hot water pipe in 60 minutes. So there are two pipes here, pipe A and pipe B, like our usual uh, case, right? So one pipe takes 40 minutes to fill the tank or the tub and the other pipe takes 60 minutes, right? Takes 60 minutes. Now a person leaves the bathroom after turning on both pipes simultaneously, right? You have turned on both the pipes simultaneously and returns at the moment when the bath should be full. He returns at what moment? He returns at the moment when he knows that the bath should be full. So basically, we have to find out, first of all, how much time will these two pipes together take to fill the tub, to fill the bath. You able to follow? I mean, this person also knows that it takes so much time to fill the bath. So he returns at that moment exactly, right? Now, you know that when two pipes are working together, or when two persons are working together, A and B are working together, the time required by both A and B together is AB by A plus B. I mean, that's like the shortcut, right? AB by A plus B. Or you can do 1 by A plus 1 by B. So let's say the pipe A here uh, takes uh, 40 minutes and pipe B takes 60 minutes. So when both of them are working together, the time required will be AB by A plus B. Right? So simplify this. 40 into 60 upon 40 plus 60. So how much is this? 40 into 60 is 2. I mean... Uh, you know, this denominator is 100, right? This, let's say, is 100. 40 plus 60 is 100. So, zeros get cancelled. We are left with 4 into 6, 24. So, the idea is that when both the pipes are open simultaneously, cold water pipe and the hot water pipe are open simultaneously, it takes 24 minutes to fill the bath. Now, this person returns at the moment when the bath should be full. That means he returns after 24 minutes, right? He returns after 24 minutes. At the moment when the bath should be full, can be replaced with after 24 minutes now. Because the bath should be full after 24 minutes. What does he find? After returning, he finds that the wastewater pipe has been opened. There was another pipe, the wastewater pipe or the waste pipe, which was open, which was left open. And he now closes it. So he realizes that one more pipe has been kept open, waste pipe. And remember, waste pipe is an outlet. The first two pipes are an inlet. The cold water pipe and the hot water pipe are inlet pipes. But the waste pipe is an outlet pipe. So that waste pipe has been kept open and he now closes it. He has now closed the waste pipe. In 12 minutes more, so from now onwards, it takes 12 minutes more for the bath to be full. For the bath to be full. In what time would the waste pipe empty it? In what time would the waste pipe empty it? Right? Let's uh, figure this out now. Simple. I think you don't have to do any more calculation. The only calculation that we need to do in this entire solution is this 24 minutes. Once you have done this 24 minutes calculation, you can now answer the question without putting pen on paper. How do we do that? Just look at it. See, we know that both the pipes A and B together, both the inlet pipes A and B together can fill the bath in 24 minutes. So this person comes after 24 minutes. He realizes that for 24 minutes, not only A and B were kept open, but also the waste pipe was kept open, which was an outlet pipe. So in these 24 minutes, in the first 24 minutes, how many pipes are working? Three pipes are working. The inlet pipe A, inlet pipe B, and also the outlet pipe the outlet pipe, which is the waste pipe, right? Even this was working for 24 minutes, in the first 24 minutes. Now, he closes this pipe. After 24 minutes, he closes this outlet pipe. Now, when this outlet pipe is closed, only two pipes are working after that. Once you have closed the outlet pipe, there are only two pipes working after that, right? A and B. It takes 12 minutes more for the bath to be full. It takes 12 minutes more for the bath to be full. See, try and understand. We know that A and B can do the full job in 24 minutes. They can do the full work. Full work is what? One unit of work. They can do one unit of work. They can, full the bath, they can fill the bath in 24 minutes. So how much work do you think they will do in 12 minutes? They will do half of the work. Yes or no? If they can do the full work in 12, 24 minutes, in 12 minutes, they will be doing half of the work. Which means in 12 minutes more, the bath is full. So what did they do in these 12 minutes? They have done half of the work. Which means they have filled half of the bath in 12 minutes. Now, the fact that they have filled half of the bath in this extra 12 minutes tells us that in the first 24 minutes, only half of the bath was full. Only half was full. In 12 minutes more, they have filled the remaining half. 
Now, in the first 24 minutes, if only half was full, what do you understand? See, ideally, in the first 24 minutes, the bath should have been completely filled because A and B can do it in 24 minutes. But the waste pipe was also open, which means in the first 24 minutes, instead of the full work, they could do only half of the work. Why? Why only half of the work? Because the waste pipe, the outlet pipe has emptied half of the tank. Yes or no? In 24 minutes, the bathtub should have been full. But we have realized that in 24 minutes, the bathtub was only half filled. Why was it half filled? Because the outlet pipe removed half of the water from the bathtub. In how many minutes? 24 minutes. Which means the outlet pipe can remove half of the water or the outlet pipe can empty half of the bath in 24 minutes. If it can empty half of the bath in 24 minutes, in what time would the waste pipe empty it fully? In 48 minutes. That's your answer. I hope all of you have followed. It is just one calculation that we need to do. 14 to 60 by 40 plus 60. 24 minutes you get. After this, it is all, you know, your mental understanding. You don't have to put pen on paper. I'll repeat the explanation once again and then also put some steps because I can sense that some of you may not follow uh, uh, verbal explanation. So I'll put some steps on paper. But let me let me repeat what I'm trying to say here, right? Because unless you follow this smart method of cutting down, uh, you know, number of steps, and, and doing uh, the solution mentally, you will not be able to score more in the exam. So, so it's important that you should be able to figure out the answers without writing all the steps. There are two pipes, A and B, and there is a third pipe, outlet pipe. We know that A can do the work in 40 minutes, B can do it in 60 minutes. So both A and B together can do it in 24 minutes. Whether you follow AB by A plus B or 1 by A plus 1 by B, any method will give you the answer as 24 minutes, which means A and B together can fill the tank in 24 minutes. A and B together can fill this tank in 24 minutes. That's the first point to be understood. Now, this person has kept both A and B open and he returns after 24 minutes. He returns at the moment when the bath should be full. So, obviously, he comes at that time. At what time? After 24 minutes when the bath should be full. But he realizes that by mistake, the outlet pipe was also open. Not only A and B, but the outlet pipe was also kept open. So far. So far means what? For the first 24 minutes. So, which means the understanding of the person was A and B are working, but actually A, B and outlet, all three were working in the first 24 minutes. And he now closes it. He comes into the bathroom after 24 minutes. He now closes the outlet pipe. And he finds that in 12 minutes more, in 12 more minutes, the bath is full. So, the point is after 24 minutes, when you close the outlet pipe, only A and B are working. And he says A and B work for 12 minutes for the bath to be full. A and B work for 12 minutes for the bath to be full. I mean, to fill the bath. See, we know that they, A and B together can do the full job in 24 minutes. A and B together can do the full job in 24 minutes. So, which means they will do half of the job in 12 minutes. Which means they have filled half of the bathtub in 12 minutes. If they have filled half of the bath in 12 minutes, it is obvious that in the first 24 minutes, only half of the uh, bathtub was filled. Why only half of the bathtub was filled? Actually, it should have been full. But only half was filled because the outlet pipe was also working. So, I can now conclude that in the first 24 minutes, the outlet pipe could remove half of the water from the bathtub. In the first 24 minutes, the outlet pipe could empty half of the bathtub. If it could empty half in 24 minutes to empty full, it will take 48 minutes. And that's your answer, option 3.